do autistic people want relationships? I mean, the myth is that we don't, isn't it? It's a very sad myth, that one. The truth is autistic people do want relationships, but there's a lot of things which can make it more difficult. That can be because we've had negative past experiences. Um, you think of growing up and the, the bullying and, and stuff like that happens. Maybe you don't trust people or maybe you don't want to reach out. Maybe you're used to people dismissing you, not understanding you or being unpleasant. And so you don't want to reach out to other people. You, you desperately want to be understood, to be liked, to be valued, to be close to somebody. But it can be very scary. Um, it could be that there's communication differences. Um, if you misunderstand what people say or people misunderstand you, that can lead to a lot of frustration. Um, and misunderstandings can escalate. So maybe you don't engage for that reason. But despite all the reasons, it is a myth. Autistic people do want relationships, whether that be a friendship or a romantic relationship. We are human and we desire connection. Some people, I know they don't need as much. Maybe they're quite happy with only seeing a few people a month or just spending time with their partner. So I'm, I'm not saying that autistic people necessarily want a lot of social connection. Um, but I'd imagine most people want some, um, but some people are quite happy on their own. You'd have to talk to them. But in general, it is a myth because a lot of autistic people, I'd say the majority, do want relationships, friendships.